check this. In America, it is legal to carry around machine guns for children as young as 14 years old. Wicked! So that is why I've come to the HQ of the NRA, the National Rifle Organization. Check it. Has anyone ever been killed by a gun? Yes. When? I don't know. So what is the one gun a month scheme? One gun a month. Um, that would. There, you know, there's a proposal, a different proposals that would prohibit someone from purchasing more than one gun a month. Well, so that would only be like ten a year or whatever. Twelve or so. Uh, well, whatever. I mean, if that law came into place or whatever, and it was Christmas and you wanted to get like your niece a gun or whatever, then her brother would be jealous if you ain't got him one That's as well. That's a very good point. <laughs> parents might feel that way. And that could split up but the family or whatever. I don't know if you've got a brother or a sister. I have a little brother. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Uh, I've got a sister, but she's a bit... Uh. <laughs> I do uh. Do you think there is some middle ground that can be reached between you and the gun people? Well, we've tried. We've tried. There's what? not a lot of middle ground there. What about allowing guns but banning bullets? Would you be into that? Um, we would like to see great restrictions on bullets. So what about allowing bullets but banning guns? Well, again, we want to have very strong restrictions on guns. We, we would like to have strong restrictions on guns and bullets. So what about allowing guns and banning bullets? No, I've done that one. <laughs> what, okay, what about... Allowing guns, but having bullets that don't fit the guns. <laughs> Would that be a way? Well, again, in, in this country, to actually pass a law, we have to get past the people who are, who are making all the money, making the guns, and selling the guns, and making the bullets, and selling the bullets. But the girls, they like the guns, huh? The girls, they like the guns. You've got a little... Sure man. they you do. You're going to get some serious... But, but how much are they going to like you after you've been shot and you're in a wheelchair and you can't go to the bathroom by yourself? Yeah, they ain't going to like you, then. Or, or after you've been shot and you're in a hospital and you're brain damaged, you're going... Uh, I mean, how, how much are the girls going to like you then? No, they ain't going to like you then, but until that happens, they are going to be well into you. Yeah, but that's going to happen pretty quick, man. He's up, Ali. Bob Khan, how are you? For real, very good. Very nice to see such a lovely shop. Do you sometimes give these guns away to charity? No. <laughs> we used to uh, give guns away to the Boy Scouts. Aye, that's a good idea. <laughs> so that is well worth it. So this is for, like, just, let's say, walking down the street? Or... No, this is for police use, or uh, a lot of people have these on their boats for protection on... Uh, private boats. Can I go so like that? A, sure. Maybe you sure? It won't sure. go off? No. Nope. You promise? I promise. Ah, fuck. Wait a minute, go ahead. Wait a minute. Go ahead, do it now. Yeah. Yes, that's a good feeling. <laughs> and then you press that. And you press the trigger. You sure it ain't gonna go off? No, try it. <laughs> yeah. Respect. Big up yourself. Okay. Do you want to give a shout out to anyone? I have nothing to say. Uh, oh, right. You've got nothing to say to us at all. No, not anything except right. I don't like uh, I don't like uh, your political system. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. To a great <laughs> I don't like your laws oh, with thanks. regard to guns. <laughs>